So I'm back in NB Dev land after a uh, time away from it. And I'm starting sort of the grandiose tying together of all my work again. And uh, it's time to make my Mac environment reflect my Jupyter environment. So the first step is to make sure that I know where my Python executable is in my Jupyter environment, which is over here. And I ran that. And I've got my full path to my Jupyter executable. And so now the next step is to configure it so that it's the same source path to your virtual environment bin slash activate. So path to your virtual environment slash bin. So I guess first I can do Python. There's no Python command found. Uh, and there's Python 3, but I'm just going to do which Python 3. All right, so that's that one there. Source, bump, activate. All right, so now let's try that again. Python, I guess I do which again. And now it has, uh, it has that and I can do which Python 3 and again it's got that long uh, path as well so now I know that my um, Mac terminal uh, is set to the same one but I want that every time I, I open up a shell a terminal so the next thing I need to figure out from um, chat GPT is what is the dot bash underscore yeah, I guess it's profile equivalent on the Mac in other words where can I do this venv activation so that every terminal I open is set to the right Python env. So the Mac has transitioned from using bash as the default shell to using zsh. All right. Ugh. All right, so if you're using bash, if you're using ZSH, so I haven't changed the default. So I'm going to be doing, you know, it's interesting, they recommend nano. They don't, the wisdom of the internet is not to give the uh, VI or Vim instructions. So it's dot ZSHRC from tilde slash at least it's in home right the mac doesn't do everything non-standard so a couple of things first i go over here and i uh, exit because i want to just make sure i'm doing it from sort of a clean start every time so i open a new terminal and uh, i do a control which python Right, so that's my before Python not found. The same will occur for Python 3. All right, so now I'm going to vim tilde slash z dot z s h r c if I got that right. Z s h r c. All right, and I have a path being export already there. But I should be able to do this source activate. Source, still have it in my copy buffer. Activate. Escape colon WQ. Exit. Close. Open a new terminal. Which? Python. There we go. And if I run it, 
I can see the 3.12 version that I'm expecting. Nice.